What's up guys? Baker here. New tutorial. TV Warp. What's up? Um, this is the example I'm going to be showing you guys. Check it out. And go. Boom. So it's, it's pretty short, pretty quick, but pretty cool stuff. It's like... And uh, there's no third-party plugins, so that's pretty cool. So let's go into it. So uh, you got, you know, your main comp and whatnot. And um, doesn't matter if you pre-compose your clips or not. It's entirely up to you. But you're gonna have two clips, right? And they need to be over overlapping just a little bit. And so we'll just zoom in here and set up our uh, work area with B and N. And they can overlap. Let's say. I don't know, just about a half a second or so, right? And then we'll make a new adjustment layer. And uh, whenever I do transitions with adjustment layers, I like to trim them so I know that it's uh, a transition other than like a color correction or something. So I'll just call this like, you know, TV warp or something. So what we're going to do is go into our effects and presets and type in TV. And we get this uh, TV week. Preset should be with your After Effects. Put that on your uh, TV warp. And uh, first thing I want to do is uh, the color balance, the saturation. I want to keep that back at zero. Okay. The noise decrease the noise. I don't like it that much to maybe five. Okay. And the uh, wave height has an expression on it. So if you push U, <coughs> we have an expression. And what we can do is just uncheck the uh, equal sign. Alright, so in the beginning, we'll go ahead and set a keyframe for the wave height, and we'll set it to 0. And we'll go in the middle, maybe set it to, let's say, 50. It's up to you. And then the last one, set it to 0. Alright, so that's pretty cool, but it's uh, kind of boring. So let's, uh, let's change the wave speed to 1. So that kind of... It's a little bit more warpy. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is uh, offset it a little bit. So, let's go ahead and search in offset. And you can uh, put this in the beginning or after your effects, but I'm just going to put it in the beginning. And uh, let's go to the beginning. Make Try to make sure your keyframes line up with the other effects of the other keyframes. So, keyframe the shift center to, go to the middle. And let's go down so it's about like half, half and half, right? And then go to the end keyframe and set this back to 360. So what that does is it just kind of shifts it like that. All right. Um, why don't we just uh, blend these together a little bit? So in the beginning, again, your second clip, push T for opacity, keyframe, move forward, and set the, oops, Supposed to be doing opacity of the top clip, unless you want this clip to be on top, and doesn't matter. But let's just fix the opacity. I'm sure you guys can figure that out by now. It's just a simple fade, opacity fade. So, okay, I'm warping like that, pretty cool. And um, let's see, what else did I add? A uh, little bit of turbulent displace. So let's go ahead and search that up. Turbulent displace, add that to our adjustment layer. And it uh, gets a cool little uh, wavy, warpy effect overall. But uh, I just want this to be horizontal displacement. And it's up to you. You can, you know, choose whatever you want. But that's what I like. So we'll go ahead and set the amount to zero. Again, move to the middle. And set this up to whatever you like. I think I used 150. And go to the end keyframe, set it back down to zero. Now, it's not, uh, we can make it a little bit better. What we can do is animate the evolution value. So if we go to the beginning again, evolution keyframe, move forward, and we'll just have this go about five revolutions. So this will just uh, wiggle a lot. And of course you can change the scale. If you notice the, the size of these curves, you change the size down to like 50. Curves are a lot tinier. And uh, I think that was about it. Um, oh, one more thing. See these little black edges, the little lines? If you don't like that, 
go up to the uh, wave warp and change pinning to all edges. And uh, that just kind of fixes that. And I think that's about it. And uh, oh, one more last thing. Okay, don't worry, guys. Push U to get all the keyframes, highlight all of them, right click, and easy ease, and that'll just smooth out the animation a little bit. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, just layering on a bunch of effects, starting with that one preset. But um, yeah, quick little TV warp uh, transition animation, pretty sweet. Um, if you uh, if you like this tutorial, if you like transitions, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment. Um, what what's coming up? I uh, got some more transitions in mind. I got some cinematic giveaways coming up. I think color correction tutorial, like that colorful one, will be coming up soon. So uh, go ahead and stay tuned, you guys. Help me support me, support you, and help me help you. If that makes sense. But uh, there you go. Can the uh, uh, oh one very last tip. I'm sorry, but check this out. If you don't like the speed of this animation. Instead of changing all the keyframes and trying to line them up, check check out this technique. So let's say we want to extend it longer. So we need the clip to be a little bit longer, obviously, right? And we want to move all these keyframes. So how can we do that? Well, select all of them, hold Alt, and just drag. Well, hold on. This keyframe isn't lined up. There we go. All right, hold Alt and just drag. You need to drag the last keyframe. That's why that didn't work right there, because this keyframe at the bottom was out in front. But if you hold Alt, click on the last keyframe, you can uh, stretch it, and it'll keep the same ratio between each keyframe. So that's a good way to uh, stretch things out. And that's about it, guys. I'm done. So uh, have fun, and peace.